Satnam. I am Yogi Gems and very excited to share this very lovely Kriya with you today. It's a 40 minute Kundalini Yoga Kriya for the lungs, magnetic field and it's a great preparation for meditation so a good all-round cleanse. Let's bring our palms together, sit nice and tall on the mat, eyes closed, long spine, just lifting the heart, dropping the shoulders and tucking the chin in towards the neck. And we'll tune in with our mantras. If you're new to the mantras, just close the eyes and listen. Take a deep inhale. Exhale fully. Inhaling tall through the spine. Keep that length as you exhale. And with the eyes at the third eye point in the center of the brow, let's inhale to tune in. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Ad gore name, Jugad gore name, Sat gore name, Siri Guru Deve name, Ad gore name, Jugad gore name, Sat gore name, Siri Guru Deve name. Take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you invite your higher self to guide you through your yoga practice today. This lovely Kundalini Yoga Kriya for the lungs, for the magnetic field, for deep meditation. And exhale, relax the hands down to the knees. Just take a moment here with the eyes closed, feeling, settling into the body. Now we'll bring our palms together, lock the thumbs, and we're going to extend our arms straight up. So nice long arms, nice tall spine. We're going to pucker the lips, and we're going to inhale and exhale through a whistle-shaped mouth. If you can make a sound with this whistle-shaped mouth, great. If not, don't worry. But we're whistling our inhales and our exhales. That's it, good, long, slow, deep breath through your whistle-shaped mouth, stretching nice and tall through the arms, reaching up, eyes are fixed into the third eye point, eyes are closed. Good. You're lifting really tall through the spine. You're lifting up your chest. You're tucking your chin in.
stretching up as tall as you can you're doing really well keep the eyes locked into the third eye keep that breath long slow and deep the whistle sound raising our vibration for our yoga practice today keep the arms straight if you can if they're getting a little tired resting them on the top of the head keep the palms together Take a deep inhale through the nose now. Hold that breath in as you stretch up tall through the spine, stretch up tall through the arms. Now squeeze mole bund. That means you're squeezing the anus and the sex organs. You're pulling up with the pelvic floor. You're pulling in with the navel. You're lifting that energy up, 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 up through the spine. Stretch up, raise that energy up and exhale float the hands down to the knees palms are facing up touching index fingers to thumbs in gyan mudra just relax feel the effect of that breath of the whistle sound in the body through the body perhaps starting to experience an expansion an inner awareness. Staying present and taking a deep inhale and exhale fully. Good, we'll start our work on healing the lungs. So we're going to interlace our fingers with the palms facing out. Bring the hands in front of the chest and we're gonna inhale, stretch the arms straight out from the heart. Exhale back in, inhaling out, exhaling and that's it. Powerful movement, powerful breath. Eyes are closed at the third eye point. That's it, keep it going. Nice and strong with the movement, nice and strong with the rhythm. expanding out through the lung capacity expanding out through the chest the more we can expand our ribs our lungs the more prana that lovely healing life force energy we can take into the body good keep the eyes locked into the third eye point Keep this movement really strong, really powerful, pumping the lungs, clearing out any debris, any pollutants in the lungs. You're doing really well. Stay with it. Keep your rhythm. Good, pumping the lungs out, making the lungs really big, cleaning them from the inside out. That's it, you're doing really well, stay with it. Keep that energy moving even when it starts to feel like a little challenge in the arms. Inhaling out. Hold that breath in, squeezing more buns, stretching tall through the spine. Hold it, squeeze everything from the belly button down, squeeze and raise that energy up the spine. And exhale, relax and release the hands to Gyan Mudra, index fingers to thumbs on the knees. And now just observe how that pranayam, how that movement, that breath and that movement have affected a subtle change in the body, in the mind. With the breath in yoga comes prana, life force energy, really healing energy. Feel it in the body. 
and take a deep inhale. Exhaling fully. Good, we're going to take our work a little bit deeper now. So we're coming back into our Venus Mudra, fingers interlaced, palms facing forward. This time we're inhaling the arms straight out, holding the breath in as we lift the arms up and then down and exhaling in. So you're inhaling out, holding that breath as you in, uh, raise the arms up, back down, exhaling back in. It's a fast swinging motion as if you're kind of uh, pushing that expansion even further through the lungs. Inhaling out and up, exhaling down and in. That's it, good. Keep the eyes at the third eye point, breathing with the movement. Inhaling out and up, exhaling down and in. Good, as if you're clearing out the insides of the lungs. The stronger you breathe, the stronger the move, the more you'll feel the beneficial cleansing effects of this movement and this breath. Expanding the lungs to receive more of that lovely life-affirming prana. Good, keep it going, keep the eyes closed and locked into the third eye point. That's it, you're doing really well. Remember, push yourself when you get to those uncomfortable bits where the muscles start to strain a little bit, where the pressure starts to build. Those are your magic moments. Push beyond them. See what you can do. And inhale out and up. Hold the arms up. Hold that breath in. Squeeze more buns. You're squeezing the pelvic floor up. You're pulling the navel in. And you're feeling, sensing, imagining the energy moving from tailbone up the spine to the crown of the head. Hold. And exhale, float the hands down to Gyan Mudra. And again, just witnessing the unfolding of this Kundalini Yoga Kriya. Feeling this awakening as the prana comes into the body, starts to nourish us from the inside out, starts to clear us and cleanse us. Just resting in awareness. And taking a deep inhale. And exhaling fully. Good. We've churned up quite a bit of rubbish with that past um, movement, so we're going to release it now. The arms come out in a V shape. Take a deep inhale here. Now we'll hold this breath in, we bring the hands into fists and we feel as if we're bringing 10 tons of pressure to the heart. Squeeze the fist, squeeze the face, squeeze all the muscles in the arms and the body. When the hands reach the chest, we exhale out, inhale. Hold that breath in as you squeeze the hands into fists, pull them in as if you're pulling all the weight of the world into this movement. Squeeze it, pull it, get every muscle in the arms involved, feel it in the armpits and explode it out. Holding that breath as you pull and squeeze, tense up the face, get that tension, really gathering up any rubbish, any toxic emotions, toxic debris, exploding it out. Holding that breath in as you pull in, pull in, pull in. We need to tremble with the strength that it takes us to pull, 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 pull. Let go. 
Good, keep it going. Keep the eyes closed, keep them up and into the third eye point as you bring so much strength and tension into this. Really get down into the depths of the lungs. Yes, that's it. Pull, pull with all of your might. Really gathering that tension, gathering that toxic energy that you can explode out. This is the last one now. Holding that breath and really pulling for all it's worth, gathering all the tension you can in your face, in your arms, in your fists, in your armpits, in every muscle of the torso. Good. Relaxing the hands to Gyan Mudra on the knees. Take a deep inhale. And a full exhale. And again, coming into that state of witness. And in a stillness, perhaps you can feel this activation in the heart, in the chest. An enormous lift of pressure, of tension. Feeling this shifting of energy, this alchemical process of the Kriya at work. Taking a deep inhale and exhaling fully. We're going to come into our Venus Mudra again. The palms are facing up this time because we've got our hands behind our head and we're inhaling the palms up and exhaling down behind the head. Now, if this feels a little bit challenging for you, as it does for many people, you can just bring your hands down to the top of the head. If you can, get them down behind the head, inhaling up, exhaling down, keep the eyes locked into the third eye point. And remember, the stronger you can move, the stronger you can breathe, the more effective this posture, this movement will be in cleansing the lungs, in expanding your lung capacity, that's it. Good, keep the eyes closed, rolled up and into the third eye point. The palms are facing up if possible. If that's too challenging for you, turn the palms to face the head or turn down if you need to. And again, if you can't get the hands behind the head to the top of the shoulders, then just bring them down onto the top of the head on your exhale. Good, keep it going, keep it steady. That's it, you're doing well, stay with it. This can pull up a lot of quite difficult emotions, quite difficult feelings. I find it extraordinarily irritating. But just keep pushing through. It's in these challenge moments that we find the real magic of Kundalini Yoga. It's these invitations to step up for ourselves, to step up and move through and heal, process. That's it, keep going. Nearly there. Inhale up. Hold that breath in, squeeze more buns, stretch up tall, palms facing the sky, hold it, squeeze it. Exhaling, floating hands down to knees. Gyan Mudra. And just allow that sweet balm to settle in the body. Feeling this movement of energy, perhaps in the chest, in the lungs, in the shoulder area. Really creating space and expansion in the chest. Space and expansion to take in more of that lovely life affirming oxygen. That healing quality of the breath. That is such an essential ingredient to our yoga practice. Taking a deep inhale and exhaling fully. Good, so let's lock our hands together, cross the thumbs over each other, and we're gonna extend our arms up again. Keep the navel strong, keep the belly pulling in, 
and we're going to inhale twist to the left exhale twist to the right so you're like a little corkscrew here inhaling left exhaling right remember to keep the navel strong keep the belly pulling in and we want to keep our arms straight we want to keep our spine straight keep the arms reaching up to the heavens if that is too much for your shoulders or for your arms just bring your hands down and rest your prayer mudra on the crown of the head keep it going though keep that twist going inhaling left exhaling right just corkscrewing through the spine releasing any residues of stagnancy any toxicity or blocks in the spine that's it you're doing well eyes at the third eye point good That's it, corkscrewing that energy upwards, upwards, upwards. Keep it going. Remember to keep your navel in to protect your lower back for this movement. Do your best. Come into the center now, deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you squeeze and stretch up tall, reach up through the spine, squeezing mul band, lifting that energy up, up, up. And exhale, relax and release the hands down to knees, Gyan Mudra. Feel that arousal of energy upwards into the upper centers. Feel the energy in the chest, in the head, in the brain. As the frequency rises through each Kundalini Yoga Kriya, we start to experience the qualities of the higher chakras. So we're moving up now into the heart chakra, into Anahata, into Vishuddha, the throat, Ajna, the third eye, Shahasrara, the crown, awakening. Take a deep inhale and exhale fully. We're going to help that awakening with this next movement. So once again, we want to interlace our fingers. This time the palms are facing down. We've got the hands in front of the heart center, forearms parallel to the floor. On the inhale, we come up to the Ajna, up to the third eye in the center of the brow, exhaling to the heart. Inhaling up, exhaling down like a little window cleaner. That's it. <sighs> from heart to third eye, from Ajna to Anahata, connecting our compassion, our love, our connection with our intuition, with our inner guru, our inner teacher. Good, from heart to third eye point, keep the eyes at the third eye, That's it. Steady breath, steady movement. Good. Forging that connection from the heart to the Ajna. Activating these chakras activating our higher centers and this brings us to a real sense of perspective when we're operating from the higher chakras we get a real sense of perspective on our life we can see through the illusion of it all we can see through the drama we can rise above it we can access our neutral mind, our neutrality, our equanimity. Bring the hands to the heart. Take a deep inhale now. Hold that breath in. Squeeze more bun. Stretch up tall. Hold it. Squeeze it. 
and exhale. Relax and release the hands to Gyan Mudra on the knees. And again, we'll come into that uh, place of witnessing, experiencing the magic of this Kundalini Yoga Kriya unfolding, raising our frequency. taking us into an experience of higher consciousness. Stay present for it. Inhaling deep. Exhaling fully. Good. Continuing on our journey upwards, we bring our hands onto the shoulders, fingers at the front, thumbs at the back. Keep the navel in strong again to protect the spine. We'll inhale left, exhale right. Like a helicopter. That's it. So this one is really great for Anahata Chakra, great for the energetic heart center, but also for the physical heart, for our circulation. Again, for our chest, for our lungs. Good. Remember to keep the navel strong to the spine. As you inhale left, exhale right. Keep the arms parallel to the floor. So your elbows are lifted. And your eyes are rolled up and into the third eye point. Keep that very steady gaze, that steady drishti or eye focal point in the center of the brow. Keep the mind steady. That's it. Good. Yes. Spiraling up through the spine, ever upwards on our journey into higher consciousness. That's it, you're doing well, stay with it. Come into the center now with a deep inhale. Hold the posture, hold the breath and squeeze Mulband, squeeze it tight, lift up tall through the spine, raise that energy up from tailbone to crown of head, squeeze, lift, stretch, really tall, and exhale, relax the hands to Gyan Mudra on the knees. And now we're really starting to get into that realm of higher consciousness, that realm of neutral mind, of meditative mind, Feeling that clarity of thought. Feeling the purification of energy. Just staying present with it. And taking a deep inhale. Exhale fully, turning the palms over now so you're holding onto your knees and we'll inhale the shoulders up, exhale them down, inhale up, exhale down, exhale down. Good, moving that energy into Vishuddha Chakra, the throat chakra, great for bringing balance to the thyroid, the parathyroid here. Eyes at third eye point, good, raise that energy up, push it up and shrug all of your cares off your shoulders. That's it, powerful breath, powerful movement. Shrug your cares away.
Keep the eyes locked into the third eye point as you push that energy upwards through that narrow channel of the neck. And keep going through it, even when it starts to perhaps feel a little bit strange as the energy starts to release, as the tension in the shoulder girdle starts to release. Keep pushing through. That's it, nearly there. Keep it going, keep it strong. Inhale up. Hold that breath as you squeeze the shoulders up to the ears. Squeeze more bound. Raise that energy up through the spine. Squeeze it, hold it, hold it. Stretch up. Chin tucks in. And exhale. Relax, release. Turn the palms over. Palms face up. Gyan Mudra. And feel that awakening of energy now up into the head, the throat. Perhaps you can feel the prana, you can feel the energy in the neck, in the throat area. Healing the Shuddha Chakra, healing the thyroid and parathyroid. And perhaps you can sense too that real equanimity of mind, that clarity of mind. Inhaling deep, exhaling fully, bringing the hands onto the front shin now as we inhale the chest forward, exhale back into a spinal flex. So we're moving deep through the spine here. We're circulating this energy through the body, all this lovely nourishing healing prana that you've generated in your practice. Inhaling forward, exhaling back, moving the full length of the spine really moving as deep as the spine will allow moving generously that's it keeping the eyes locked into third eye point Awareness of this movement in the vertebrae, moving forward on the inhale, back on the exhale. Powerful breath, powerful movement to really get that energy circulating through the body. Inhale up to the center now. Holding that breath in and squeezing Mulban tight, lengthening the spine tall, tucking the chin in and raising that energy up along the full length of the spine, up to the crown of the head. Squeeze, stretch tall, hold the breath. Exhale now, bringing the hands to Gyan Mudra on the knees and settling back down into the sit bones, settling into the base of the body with your awareness. Just feeling the weight of the body sitting here, the grounding weight of the physical body. And with every exhale, Feel that weight deepen. Feel the body almost sinking down with every out breath. We're becoming very conscious of our connection to the earth here. Becoming aware of every out breath 
as we sink a little deeper into the earth while maintaining our straight spine. and continuing to maintain awareness of the exhale. Now bringing your awareness too to the inhale and noticing that sense of expansion that comes through the inhale. It comes physically through the belly swelling on each in-breath, just noticing that. Noticing how the body swells to accommodate that in-breath and draws in and down for the out-breath. Just becoming conscious of those two qualities of the expansion of the inhale, the upliftment of the inhale, and the contraction, the moving down and in of the exhale. Those two qualities of the in-breath and the out-breath, maintaining a tall spine, connecting heaven and earth, the expansion of heaven with the drawing down and in of the earth. Take a deep inhale now and exhale fully and come all the way down to lying flat on the back for your Shavasana. So starfish yourself out Get yourself nice and comfortable. If you have a shawl, pull your shawl over yourself. Perhaps tuck a couple of cushions or pillows under your knees. Get yourself nice and cozy in your nest. Palms turn up in an attitude of surrender. Shoulder blades shuffle together and down. So the back of the neck is long on the earth and the heart is lifted. And give yourself complete permission now to surrender completely. Give your body full permission to integrate your hard work today in this Shavasana, in this rest. Relaxing and releasing the toes and the feet, the heels and the ankles. Relaxing and releasing calves and shins, knees and thighs. Relaxing and releasing the buttocks and the groin, the pelvis and pelvic floor. Relaxing and releasing the whole of the abdomen, the belly, the solar plexus. Relaxing and releasing the chest and ribs, heart and lungs. Relaxing and releasing the collarbones and shoulders, upper back, middle back, lower back. Relax and release into the earth. Relaxing and releasing upper arms and elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, fingers and thumbs. Relaxing and releasing neck and throat, jaw, teeth and tongue, lips and cheeks, nose, eyes and ears. Relaxing and releasing the forehead and the scalp, the skull and the brain. Relaxing and releasing the whole of the central nervous system. And just allow yourself to completely let go here. Completely surrender.
and gently starting to wriggle the fingers, wriggle the toes, circling wrists and ankles first in one direction and then in the other direction. And inhaling, raising the arms up above the head, pointing the toes, stretching, flexing the feet, stretching, exhale back down. Inhaling right knee into the chest, exhaling it across the body, turning the head, breathe into that cat stretch. Inhaling to center, exhaling down. Inhaling the opposite knee into the chest, exhale it across the body, turn the head, breathe into that twist. Inhaling to center, exhaling down. Inhaling both knees into the chest, wrap the arms around the knees, rock uh, from side to side, a big hug, and then bring palms of hands together, soles of feet together, give them a good rub, bring yourself back into your body and tuck your hands into the creases behind the knees, rock forwards and back up and down along the spine, come all the way back up to sitting. Sitting nice and tall, feeling the sit bones on the earth, the crown of the head moving up to the sky. Bringing the palms together, we'll close with one long Sat Nam, truth is my name, deep inhale. Exhale fully, and inhale to chant. Sat Nam. Bring palms to floor, allow forehead to bow down as far as it will go, offering your gratitude to your body, mind and breath for bringing you to this yoga practice, sending that gratitude out into your life as far as it will go. Satnam. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Yogi Gems and this was the Kriya for the lungs, um, the magnetic field and deep meditation. So if you enjoyed it, please like and please subscribe. I will be posting more videos of more Kundalini Yoga Kriyas as we go along. Satnam, have a beautiful day. Lots of love.